All right, welcome back, folks, and we are at Winding Rivulet. Um, Ryan in our in our in my dogs in our chat group called My Dogs here on Russian Fishing Four suggested I might be able to catch some white bream or other stuff here at this spot on Winding. So I figured we'd try it. Um, the only other thing I'd like to do is maybe get a little bit of time in at Mosquito with the, the uh, night crawlers, but um, this sounded interesting, so I wanted to give this a, give this a try. I sent myself some notes on it, so we're doing clip eight or nine. Let's just go clip nine, and then we'll get a little bounce back, maybe. And I think we're just going to go straight out from the shore here. So, we're trying three different baits to start off with. We've got worm on the first line, maggots on the second line, and then red worm on the third line. I'm used to playing, I was playing on my main account, fishing for Bream at Volkov, which by the way, 7100 at Volkov was really good with pea porridge. So if you're higher, high enough uh, level to go try out 7100, 20 clip at Volkov with pea porridge with your normal Bream setup, um, I think I had between 18 and 20 marker Bream by the end of the night. Uh, felt like a trophy was just wanting to come out. Didn't get one in my first night of trying, but... It was interesting. Because of a cafe order made 150 silver in uh, about 12 hours of fishing in game time. Okay, so first fish out on worm is a bream. We are using size 14 hooks all the way across, I believe. Um, and we're also using our fake bream mix, which in this case has ground crackers, millet porridge, maggots, and then sunflower oil. All right, so now red worm is getting getting a bite here. Let's see what's on the red worm. That looks like a common carp. As we all tremble in fear a little bit. You just don't expect to catch a common carp in the middle of this little river at Winding. At least I don't. Alright, so there's a tiny bream. All maggots. One thing I may do is go ahead and switch at least a couple of these to the little river cage just to make sure they're not drifting around down there. The other thing I'm doing on my main account, <laughs> which could be relevant on this account eventually, is I've been testing inline rig. As I've told you before, I've always used loop rig for pretty much everything non-carp related if ground bait was necessary. If ground bait's not necessary, then I've always used simple bottom rig. Well, inline says in the description, once you're high enough level to read the full description, it talks about cautious fish which it seems like bream and eyed, some of those types of fish would fall into that category. So I've been experimenting with that, and at least that uh, session at Volkov, I was using inline straight across, and it seemed to go really well. Well, let's switch maggots. Um, golly, there's a ton of bream here. Um, what am I trying to switch here? Oh, yeah. I wasn't really expecting to catch normal bream here. Like, that's all we're catching. I think we need to switch to pearl barley and see how many of these bream might show up markers. 
what bait do we switch? I'm thinking maybe red worm first. Let's get a, get an idea of a couple more catches on red worm, and then we'll switch red worm to pearl barley. Wasn't expecting a bream spot. Golly. So the reason why they're coming out so small is because it's too early for bream. Um, yeah, it's just a little weird though. Like that's all we're catching. You know what? What size leader do we have on? <laughs> Had the 3.2 leader on still. Of course. Now if we actually were catching white bream and not regular bream, 3.2 would probably be appropriate, but... just popped off. I know he was on a minute ago, but if y'all could see my confused face right now, you would say it looks very confused. catching all we're catching forget red worm for now I mean in a couple more in-game hours it'll be time for bream and we'll see if they're still strong here I mean look at this we have had one crucian I'm worried it wasn't Ryan that told me about this spot. I have to get on my main account to to see. I guess I could log in over here. So it's, there may have been white bream here, but it's like once the bream have moved in, they just devour the bait before anything else gets it. Which again, oh man, we gotta get some food. I mean, this is almost pointless to do, other than the fact that we're getting points. I 
Yeah, it wasn't Ryan. He would remember it. I mean, whoever it was, we were just talking about it today. So somebody was saying they were catching whites, and they even had a couple of blues in this spot. But I think the bream have moved in. I need to quit putting them back in until it's a little bit later. Oh. That was a white. That was weird. Okay. All of a sudden a white bring bit. Okay, we've got to go get food though. Um... We're pretty close to camp. Like, we could cook some potatoes. What does potatoes and salt require? We can't see the recipe from here, can we? Shoot. Potatoes with fish, I think. Salt and... I just don't remember what else it was. Could also make a bunch of cucumbers. Isn't that something you can cook without? Yeah, just add salt. Okay. And I guess we can go ahead and pick up some wheat grain. Holy cow, why is that so expensive? That seems odd. Um, salt. I wish I could remember what else it was with the, was it onion? stuff to cook might have been onion what if I don't have enough what if I don't have it to make a campfire if I don't have logs well we can at least go ahead and um, do the cucumbers right all right Now use a picker rod. We can now catch really small bream at winding. Oh my gosh. Never seen anything quite like this. All right.
Well, that's not going to work. Apparently, logging into to that account on another computer reset, or it changed where the um, where the messages were. So I apologize. Someone told me about this spot, and I had just been messaging with them, and I don't want to make any more guesses on who it was because I've already been wrong once. I apologize, whoever whoever I am confusing with um, somebody else. All right, yep, it was onion, and we do have fish we can do. All right, so first, let's go to the bottom of the list. Like we, oh, we have tea we can make. Let's just cook here for a minute. Fried fish. We're stocking up on food right now. All right, we don't have to cook all this in one time. Let's go check on the rods. worm frequently these days. It's almost ideal bream time. So I think we go, we clear all the rods and then we go uh, cook, finish cooking and then come back and just fish. Yeah, this is a bream spot right now. Which means we really ought to change hook sizes a little bit. If we're going to be catching bream, we want to go to bream hook sizes, I think. It's actually a nice bream. See, it's a little later now. We're starting to get the marker breams. All right, so let's go to eight. Keep pearl barley on that one. And then when I get back, I'll switch to the one that maybe worms are on. And we'll have to see when we're standing near it to see. My guess is that we probably want to use pearl barley on two and then maybe just like worms on one. I don't know that we need to fish with maggots right now if bream is biting everything. All right, what else can we cook? More sausage. These sausages just don't fill you up. Yeah, they're cheap. It's a good way to level up your cooking. But if you're doing a lot of digging, it's like really hard to keep up with your hunger with these sausages. You burn through them so quick. Okay, let's just do two more. Wow. We're the worst cook ever. Okay, what's going on here? And then... Oh, that's cool. I don't think I've ever made marshmallows. Noodles, and we need a, a cooking pot. And then fried fish. Look at all this stuff. You need three crucians, sunflower oil, black pepper. 
Is that pretty much the same for burbot, sunflower oil, black pepper? Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, let's make some. baked potato with fish okay what is going on the carp does have to be two kilos to do, use it for that though I think there's something wrong with the server people were getting kicked off like there's no way we should be getting uh, just that shouldn't be happening that percentage of time. That was weird. Why the fish come off? That was a jerk move. That was a real jerk move, you know. see my face right now it's a face of surprise small catfish here or something what's going on it's like not moving but it's heavy it's bream it keeps thinking it's going to swim away from us i guess between the current and it's a decent bream it was just like fighting us a little bit Well, that's a good bream, guys. I mean, there is no complaints there. I will keep maggots on. So far, worm and pearl barley feel like they're getting about the same bite rate. We'll keep an eye on it, though. Still a lot of small ones. to prove that hooks don't always matter that was a small 14 hook that we caught that almost trophy bream on weird stuff If I remember next fix, I do think
All right, so it was Fabrique. Okay, random eyed. So all credit goes to Fabrique for this, for this spot. Even though it's not exactly what we thought we were getting into, it has turned into, um, it's turned into a really good, so Fabrique's level 25, 24 trophies, nice. It's been doing some good uh, spin fishing at Volkov and Cory. Look at that trophy chub. Crucian Gibble there. Wow. Arctic, Lake, Rough, and Perch at Cory. That is very nice. Roach and Perch at Volkov. Very cool. Yeah, I don't think it's going to change. I think the Bream have literally just moved in and are dominating now. Blue Breen came on Red Worm. I guess we could switch back to Red Worm with like a 14 hook and just see if we get lucky on a blue, but I think Bream are just biting too fast right now. Oh my gosh, we used the, all those potatoes up already? Well, we'll go back down to um, 14 hooks on these two rods and see if we catch any anything besides the bream. I don't... Freaking kidding me. It wasn't that big anyway from what I could tell, but... Those jerky fish. All right, so 14 red worm. We'll keep it on here for a little bit longer. I don't think the blues are going to have time to bite right now. But we'll see. And then 14 maggots will do that. I just can't imagine catching very many whites or anything else right now other than bream. They're, they're popping on so fast. We've had, what, one white bream? Is that right? One eyed, one crucian, and all bream. Put 
Please don't be a bream. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how many red worms I can eat through just catching 200 gram bream. Why is that line moving? Was it still settling or is that because I don't have a... No, it was still settling, okay. Yeah, we can't dig red worm fast enough right now. cooking on my main account to whatever point I'm at over there. I was eating pickles for days. I did a lot of cucumber pickle recipes. So if you want to embrace the bream here, which is not a bad thing to do, it's actually really a good thing to do, and, they'll, and they do seem to be, as later it gets, more markers. If you want to embrace the bream, use pearl barley. If you want to try to catch some of the white bream, blue bream, that kind of stuff, then red worm probably is good to have on somewhere, and maybe maggots as well. is a 14. Hold on. Let's change it up. Let's put this ground bait on. Let's go to that hook. Absolutely killing the big bream at uh, Volkov on my main account. It was good enough that I could have made a video, but I feel like I've done videos on that spot so many times that if I don't get a trophy or if it doesn't seem like spectacular, I hesitate to do it again. Welcome, life ended. Level nine. Look at that trophy. Uh, Chinese sleeper at mosquito on worm. I like it. I think this is the first time I've seen life ended in our chat before. So, I think this spot is totally worth fishing at, and the fact that I'm about to leave is not at all because of the quality of the spot. I think it's really good. I actually just want to go, I knew I got that too quick, test and see, oh, test and see how uh, night crawlers work at mosquito. I want to fit it into this episode. We've got a few more minutes left, so I just want to see how it's how it's going over there. Let's just check cafe and sell these fish here real quick in case they 
I don't really think they sell for any more here. I think we tested that, didn't we? It's the same here in Mosquito, but especially if there was a cafe order, it'd be worth it. The unfortunate part is we're leaving that spot probably before it hits its peak. Um, we would have probably caught several more marker bream there if we'd have hung out a little longer. We needed three more white bream for that cool order. <laughs> that is the easiest order I've ever seen. Look at that blue bream order though. That would be awesome. We might have to come back and try this spot again to be honest. But I've just got mosquito on my mind. We've got these night crawlers now. Let's just go see what's up. Did I forget to sell fish? No, I did. Okay. I didn't even notice how much it was. Did y'all notice? <laughs> That's funny. What are we at? 147 silver? I don't know. I think we were down to like 90 maybe? I don't know. Check 301. Which hook is that? Is that the blue one? Or is that the one that we got in our in this on this account? Definitely got some changes to make here. Crucian Gibble. Um, five with night crawlers. And as a comparison. Complicated comparison. We could also get pellets, which might be interesting. We have got the, um, the only thing we're missing is like Semolina on this one would be like the ultimate trio of let's try to catch a trophy here. <laughs> uh, also when we open up pop-up rigs, which is still a ways away, that's like 60%. I don't remember if on snowman rig you can use pop-up. We'll have to check. That was a quick, quick bite on our boilies. All right, one second.
This is surprising that out of these baits, the boilies are popping off this fast. You know what we should do, honestly, is put our 3.2 liter on there and then just try not to let it snap it. So I do have to go for work here in just a moment. I'm gonna, are those identical sizes, by the way? No, not quite close though. So we're not gonna be able to fish very long here. I guess next episode we'll start with this spot and see. I wanna give night crawlers a little bit of a chance. In the past, night crawlers have been really good at catching trophy gibbles and tr trophy Chinese sleepers in this spot. Uh, how active is it now? I just don't know. But it'll be fun to find out. Is that a gibble? So if we go 3.2, nah, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that with the boilie zone. The, the issue is, I don't know this spot well enough right now. If you ever catch a common carp, obviously you don't want to do it on a 3.2. Is the one we were getting 301 I don't know which one that is all right first fish off night crawlers yeah, it's pretty good crucian. I guess we may need to switch to something else, like maybe just bread next time we do this. Sweet dough just doesn't seem to be working good in this spot. We shouldn't have that long of a wait on a bite. Will we have an eight hook on there. Yeah, it's crazy. crawlers again I think that's a trophy it's got to be right yeah there is a trophy gibble That's why night crawlers are OP. Um, maybe what we do is put two night crawlers out with the boilies. This is finally a fish on sweet dough. I think we probably just put the night crawlers on too, to be honest. So short little test here in this spot. Some nice crucians on the boilies and a really nice trophy gibble on the night crawlers. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. I'll be back later.